I have more tips and tricks for you guys. Please view the chapters of this video below to skip to any part you are interested in. Let's get into it. With the recent update, zip lines are more valuable than ever. With that being said, you will notice that in order to have a decent zip line setup, you will have to harvest a good amount of spider web. As long as you aren't afraid to take on some orb weavers and their babies, this is an easy task. Thankfully, you can get all of the spider web you need from one location, and for me, that location is the blueberry bushes. Make sure you stock up on cooked food, and I would recommend having at least a weevil shield if you're planning on doing this early game. When you make the journey out here, it might be smart to create a small bed near the fountain. If you die, you can spawn nearby and get your loot back. I recommend that you start by entering the tunnel on the left side of the cliff. If you're not sure where this is, it's located to the left of the large fountain. When you're up top, you should see the large bush with mushrooms growing on the side. This is a great place to start. Every web that you see hanging around the area is a web you can harvest. Chop them all with an axe and collect as many as you can. If you're confident, take out every orb weaver you see since they also drop a decent amount of spider webs. Once you've cleared the grounds, move to the base of the bush and start climbing. You will stumble upon a series of labs tunnels, and this is spider web heaven. You will be attacked by spiderlings and junior orb weavers while you're in here. Do your best to take as many out as you can. If you're not feeling strong enough to be in here, no worries, do what you can, go back home, sleep, and come back to do it again. Repeat this process as many times as you want, and enjoy all that sweet spider silk. This next tip is regarding flower petals. Your first encounter with petals will be near the pond. Every few days, you can pick a small amount of petals off of the ground, but you can get much more. With a bit of jumping, you can climb the leaves of the flowers and begin chopping the flower bulbs themselves. This will drop even more petals for you to collect. This tip was news to me recently. Berry leather and pupa leather are pretty important crafting ingredients in the mid to late game stages. Not only that, but they are not necessarily found in high quantities. The berry bush does have a decent amount of berries for you to collect, and if we're talking about pupa, you can certainly find a bunch, but they're pretty spread out in the upper yard. The issue comes when you refine these materials. Up until recently, I have been taking my raw berries and pupa to the workbench and refining them. If you look closely, this takes three berry chunks to make one berry leather. However, take your resources to a drying rack and you'll see that each individual chunk becomes a berry leather. So using a workbench is quite a waste. Go out there, kill some bombardier beetles, and craft a bunch of drying racks. It's definitely worth it. Bubblegum is a resource that can be a pain to gather because some of their locations put them high up somewhere. This tip is really simple. We are looking at the gum that spawns underneath the house decking. I recommend building clover roofs off of the rock. These roofs are cheap to make and the resources are nearby. Once you have this set up, it is much easier for you to gather the gum after its respawn timer. Also, as a bonus tip, clover roofs are an excellent way to build a ladder to get somewhere you normally couldn't. Speaking of bubblegum, did you know that you can plug the pesticide canister? Now that you've collected a piece of gum, make your way onto the porch, climb up the sprayer, and cover the hole. Congrats, you have removed the toxic gas in the yard.
word of warning though, performing this action will cause infection to spread across the yard, and this will spawn infected wolf spiders as well. That's all I've got for this video. Let me know if you liked it, and as always, thank you for watching.